Hey guys, you ever get a knife that just doesn't make any sense? And I don't mean like a three-bladed Wolverine knife from the Mall Ninja store that you figure out, try to figure out for 10 minutes how you're supposed to hold it without cutting yourself on the 440A steel. I mean a knife that just is so incredibly good that it doesn't warrant the price or the lack of attention that it is receiving. Allow me to explain. Uh, here we've got Kunwu Xtal. In Elmax Steel, pardon my uh, smeary fingers, I uh, leave fingerprints on everything even if I don't touch it. So I don't know how it happens, it just does. Um, but yes, this is the Kunwu x Tau in Elmax, like I just said a second ago. It's got uh, orange peel titanium scales with a micro milling on the, uh, on the um, bevel there on the front. It's not there on the back, but it is there all, all up and down the front, which is nice. Um, it's got this uh, crossbar lock on the back or the access lock or ram lock or slide lock or whatever whatever insert company here calls it. Um, it's got a reversible pocket clip that's garbage, but I mean, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's a wire pocket clip, but I mean, it's so bad. Wire pocket clips, I just don't understand. And the reason I don't understand is because the job of the wire pocket clip is to keep the knife in your pocket and accessible. And while it will keep your knife accessible, it will not necessarily keep it in your pocket. It's just so weak. And then you walk next to something too close or you're jumping off your truck or whatever the heck you're doing. You're flying trapeze and you hit something on this and it bends it up and then it's ruined. The whole pocket clip's ruined. Good luck trying to bend a wire pocket clip back. In fact, this one's even kind of crooked from right from the factory. I mean, it's just, they're, they're kind of, you know, it might, maybe it's supposed to be a little crooked. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but anyways. That's my little mini rant about po wire pocket clips. Regardless, this one's reversible and you can get a wire pocket clip replacement that looks like a regular pocket clip. It'll look like this on my Benchmade bug out, except it's got wire connectors at the bottom from uh, Lynch Northwest, Lynch Clips. Back to the X-Tau. Action is great. I mean, it's, it's, it's fidgety, it's fast, it's easy to open and close. It's a guillotine when you pull the bar back. It locks pretty nice when you don't course it'll still shut still will roll shut but it's not I just I, I love that I like that it's got that you can kind of pump the brakes on it if you feel like it's swinging in too too fast or whatever I don't know it's uh yeah it, it feels good it's got a pretty decent weight I'll throw the specs up on the screen because I don't feel like reading them today um it's got this jimping on the back spacer which is nice I wish it had jimping on the front for my thumb because it's just smooth um, I will say that with the ergonomics of the thing, it's nice because when I grip it, when I'm using it, it feels like I'm holding a knife. It doesn't feel like I'm trying to get a chill cold on a porcupine or anything. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a solid knife. I like it. It's right at $200, I think. Which, what? That, really? <laughs> I mean, this thing is, this thing is outstanding. Yeah everything about it the action is great the the looks i love it it's got enough weight to it where it feels good it doesn't feel like it's made out of cheap plastic like some knives insert knife company here um yeah it's just it's just a solid knife and the reason the only reason i heard about this knife is because i watched metal complex's video on the kungu pulsar that was on uh pre-order and uh, I went to look for it to figure out how to pre-order it. And I realized it was actually on Kickstarter. So I went to Kickstarter. I uh, backed their project and I got it for 26% off, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice little deal. And uh, they gave me some coupons for their other knives. And I was able to get this one for less than $200 because I had a $20 off coupon or a 20% off coupon. I can't remember. But it's a really nice knife. Um, yeah, I mean, it's 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 centered. If it's off-center at all right now, it's because I've been flicking it for three days. Because when I got it, that was one of the first things I noticed was that it was just dead centered. It, the, the blade is just perfectly done. Um, I've I've got no complaints right now. I wish I there was more I could say besides the lack of jimping for your thumb. But other than that, I mean, this thing is just, it's it's fantastic. So yeah, I just don't understand it. I don't understand how this knife can be $200 and be that good. I think you guys should do yourselves a favor and check this knife out. 
All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a good day.